What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. We're back with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news content and updates for you guys here on the channel. And today we do have our first look here at what Shenron is going to look like in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So if you guys don't know, we will have the ability to make wishes within Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And it'll be equivalent to just like any other normal Dragon Ball game where you are able to summon the Eternal Dragon and he will grant any wish of your desire that is in correlation to the specific game and in this case with sparking zero you are not only going to be able to summon shenron we will have the ability to summon amongst three distinct dragons so in this case with budokai tenkaichi 3 it did take on the same scenario because we were able to summon shenron porunga and ultimate shinron that was like the red shinron that took place in gt uh but in this case with sparking zero we will not have ultimate shinron probably because it's not considered canon instead we will have super shinron we will have shinron and then obviously we'll have Purunga. and each of their wishes do differentiate from each other we aren't too sure what the wish casing will be for super shinron or Purunga just yet but we do have our first look at the types of wishes we can make with shinron specifically so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can wish for with that. I apologize in advance for this translation. I believe this is in Portuguese, but I do have a, a roughly Google translated image of what Shinron actually says here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. But when Shinron first appears, he will say, you who gathered the seven Dragon Balls declare your wish. So I believe these are just four basis wishes that you can wish for for Shinron. I'm also assuming that Shinron, considering the fact that he's the weakest dragon aside from a Peru and a super shinron we will not be able to have as much like more powerful wishes when we summon shinron specifically now we do have four separate wishes that we can choose from here and we will be able to first of all wish for more zen if you guys don't know we will have a open shop within dragon ball sparking zero where we can unlock new characters we can also unlock new outfits new voice lines stuff like that so that's going to be very exciting we could wish for more titles i'm not too sure what that means exactly i'm assuming you're going to be able to have titles that attached to your name when you play online or ranked let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below we can ask for our level to be increased i'm not too sure if there will be a leveling system within sparking zero so that's going to be something worth looking into i'm very excited to see about that and then we can also wish for new outfits which is the one that he clicks on here specifically so shinron does give us the option to choose amongst four different outfits right here i'm not too sure if he'll give you more options to choose from once you wish for one specific outfit i'm sure you're also going to be able to wish for more more outside of that so really just depends on how it works now for right here we will be able to wish for Yamcha's costume not too sure what that relates to if I did have to make a guess I would just say that that's Yamcha's outfit within Dragon Ball Super like the white top outfit with the gray pants over here we will be able to wish for a Master Roshi costume or Master Kami's costume which is master roshi kami shenan is master roshi so not too sure what that's going to be either master roshi does have a variety of different outfits so i'd be pretty excited to see what that is going to lead to specifically and then over here we do have goku's outfit for super and then vegeta's suit for super based off of my own assumption if i had to guess what that is that's just the coats that they wear the green and blue coats that they wear in the dragon ball super broly movie looking at all of the outfits that we do see other content creators post online for Goku and Vegeta like I'm not too sure what else it would be they have basically every single outfit that they would need for the most part from damage gi to the Wii symbol gi to their regular turtle hermit gi or the Saiyan armor battle gi whatever the case may be we really have all of those so my assumption is that it's just their SAB coats from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Now, I'm not too sure how many wishes we will be able to get for each dragon. Again, we haven't necessarily seen anything for Purunga, so we're just gonna have to wait and see about that. But for Shinron, I'm assuming that we will only have access to one wish for Shinron at first. Maybe the more we complete the story, like maybe perhaps after the Cell Saga of the episode battles, we will have access to be able to make more wishes for Shinron, considering the fact that that's when he was upgraded to be able to have more wishes. Uh, I do know that Super Shinron is probably also going to only have one wish we've only ever seen him grant one wish within the anime so it's probably going to be the same story for him we can talk a little bit about super shinron though now based off of what addition that you do get for sparking zero specifically you will be able to have a ultimate addition bonus for super shinron so you very well might based off of my own assumption you very well might get your own set of dragon balls as soon as you start the game and with those own set of dragon balls you will be able to use them for 
Ultimate Shinron, and with Ultimate Shinron, the basis of the wishes will be the same consistency as regular Shinron, probably just more high-end wishes and stuff like that. You probably will be able to unlock more Zenny, or you'll be able to unlock more playable characters. Now, with Purunga, I do think we will be able to have three wishes to be able to grant with Purunga. I believe that was the same thing here with Budokai Tenkaichi 3, so that's going to be very, very exciting. I'm not too sure what Purunga's wish system will look like, though, so I I think we're just going to have to wait until Tuesday to see what that looks like when the game actually does drop. But, you know, we have seen Purunga grant three wishes within the Budokai Tenkaichi 3 game. And, you know, the type of wishes that were there within Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is probably going to be the same consistency here within Sparking Zero. We're going to be able to wish for different accessories, wish for Zenny. We're going to be able to wish for, you know, maybe new maps. I don't think that'll be a case in Sparking Zero. I think we have all the maps unlocked by then. Uh, but, you know, you'll be able to wish four new maps like it was in BT3, um, stuff like that. Just depending on how Sparking Zero works, we may get new wishes or they may be rinse and repeat wishes from Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I don't know. We're just going to have to see when the game does drop. So in terms of how we're actually able to unlock Dragon Balls, when we do actually go to Zeno to complete different rewards and missions, we do know that we will be able to unlock Dragon Balls there. It's going to be very easy and straightforward. I do think that it's going to update every single week or every single month so that we have have access to be able to unlock more and more Dragon Balls whenever we do please. We are also more than likely are going to be able to summon and get Dragon Balls from specific episode battles or custom battles. I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get Dragon Balls from custom battles because when we do make our own custom battles, it's very well possible that we could add like hidden Dragon Balls that we can find within the game as well. So it really just depends there. I do think though that it will take on the same Budokai Tenkaichi 3 approach, especially within episode battles where, you know, there'll be Dragon Balls around the map. We'll be able to find them and then add them to our collection. I think that'll be very, very exciting. But by far the easiest way to get Dragon Dragon Balls will be just completing the reward system that Zeno grants us within the separate game mode that we do have there. But yeah, no, that's all I have here today. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. We are, I think it's four days away now from Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's release for the people with early access. So make sure you guys are subscribed and ring that notification bell if you want to stay tuned and be updated with all types of Sparking Zero content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.